The next thing we're going to do is, sh is show how you set up a blank Word document, um, edit that document and how you save it to an appropriate area with an appropriate file name. We're also going to look at how you um, use tables. So the first thing you're going to need to do is find Word. Um, you might have a shortcut on your desktop here for Microsoft Word. If you don't like me then you can press the Windows key which is at the bottom left hand corner or you can press the Windows key on your keyboard it brings you to the Windows 8 environment now if you just type in Word it brings up Word 2013 ok so the very first thing we need to do is to save this and give it an appropriate file name so top left hand corner I'm going to click on file because it's a new document a new file we're going to click on save as otherwise we just click save and that would save a more recent copy of this so save as and this is where we need to navigate to the the appropriate area so you can click on browse and we're going to go to documents so you should be able to see you've got your folders that you set up previously if you click in computing you've already got one set up for digital literacy and what are we going to call this well it's going to be a timetable so that will be the file that will be the file name it's going to be saved as a word document click on save so when you go back to find that uh, file um, you would obviously use the Windows Explorer folder to find your file okay we're going to need to change the page layout to landscape so we're going to click on page layout orientation and landscape and it changes it to this sort of layout here and we're going to go back to the home tab at the top and we're going to click on we're going to type in my timetable because this is a title we're going to center it and we're going to highlight it and make it bold I'm going to increase the font size by clicking here a couple of times put my cursor back at the end of my timetable so I'll left click here and if I click on enter or carriage return a couple of times and I've now got to the area where I want to create my table I'm going to take the bold off so don't need that now this time I'm going to click on insert table okay so insert table I want seven rows sorry six rows and seven columns and I'm going to add labels lesson and Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday lesson one two three four five and you see that I've run out of rows so what I'm going to do now is add in another row by clicking on this plus sign here and clicking on and adding it a number six you can see I've added too many columns so all I need to do is simply highlight this column and click on delete column I can also resize this here to make it to the size that I want the next thing I need to do is add the information so I can complete my timetable so more things we can do is if I highlight this area here and click on bold highlight this area here and bold so I'm making my label stand out also I could add some shading using this bucket here some light shading here 
and going down here also some light shading.